Hello, this educational video is brought to you by the Colorado HOA Information and Resource Center. The topic of this video presentation is Handling HOA Disputes and Alternative Dispute Resolution in HOAs. The information provided during this presentation is for educational purposes only and is not meant to provide or to be construed as legal advice. Any legal questions should be directed to your attorney. How to Handle HOA Disputes the HOA Information and Resource Center frequently hears about disputes between homeowners and HOAs, between homeowners and the HOA and its board, between individual HOA board members, between homeowners and the management company, and between the HOA board and the management company. There are some typical causes that tend to factor into disputes, especially between homeowners and the HOA and its board of directors. Let's discuss some of these reasons. Most often, a lack of communication is the primary cause for the disputes. Having a website and or newsletter to communicate information to owners can go a long way. This usually occurs when the association is not keeping the owners informed about the goings-on with the association. Some common examples include not informing owners of meetings, not providing meeting agendas, not having meetings, and not providing HOA financial information. In addition, a lack of understanding about HOA issues and homeowner concerns may lead to disputes. It is important for board members and homeowners to understand that many HOAs have faced difficult times and lack of upkeep that may have affected the solvency and well-being of the HOA. HOA boards must make tough decisions. Homeowners may view some actions of the board as a product of poor management, not totally understanding the circumstances. Also, a lack of transparency is at the root of many disputes between homeowners and the HOA. The board members should be making decisions in the open at meetings and not behind closed doors or outside of meetings whenever possible. Board members should demonstrate to the owners what they are doing and communicate that in a clear and timely manner. Distrust of the HOA board members ends up being a result due to the lack of communication and transparency from the HOA board to the homeowners. While there are genuine disputes between homeowners, the board, and the management company, it is imperative that HOA boards and homeowners take the appropriate steps to address their issues to establish trust within the community. What can HOA board members do when there is a dispute? Most homeowners want to know what is going on in the community, where their money is being spent, air a grievance about the HOA board or management company, or are concerned about an increase in assessments. Repeatedly, the situation unnecessarily escalates because the homeowner, board, or manager fails to communicate in an appropriate and timely manner. Let's go over some tips to address HOA issues when you are confronted as a board member. First, think before you act. Think clearly about the issue that the homeowner is bringing before the board. The issue may be major to the homeowner but may be minor in the grand scheme of what the HOA board or management company has to deal with. Ask yourself, is this something that is within the board's ability to help the homeowner? Also ask, can the board answer or fix the problem? Another tip, knowledge is power. Review all of your governing documents. Often when board members talk to homeowners, they have not taken the time to read their governing documents that frequently provide the answers to the homeowner's questions. The governing documents, which include the Declaration of Covenants, the bylaws, and the rules and regs of the association, are the contracts that govern the relationship between the homeowner and the HOA. Also, actually talk to the homeowner. If there is a dispute, give the homeowner an opportunity to communicate their problem. Provide the homeowner the opportunity to bring their dispute before the board and or management company. Always be professional and courteous, being rude and demeaning, only sets the stage for a litigious atmosphere potentially causing a minor issue to become a large drawn-out personal dispute. Have the homeowner document their issues. If you cannot get results through a conversation with the homeowner, have them provide their demands in writing. Writing a letter to the board helps them to document their position and may help take the emotion out of having a conversation. Make sure to keep a copy of any correspondence between the homeowner, the manager, and the association board. Does the issue affect other homeowners? The homeowner may have already discussed their issues and concerns to other homeowners of your association. 
Chances are that if one homeowner has an issue with the decision of the HOA, others do as well. The board should consider if any issues brought before them may have the support of other homeowners in the association. Use the democratic means of the HOA to make change first. Litigation should be a last resort for the HOA board and homeowners. It is costly to the association, not only financially, but it also creates an unfriendly atmosphere. There are procedures under the law and in your governing documents to change the covenants and bylaws, although this often requires significant homeowner involvement and time. Explore alternative dispute resolution prior to litigation. It is amazing what can happen if you sit parties down and talk about the issues. Mediation and arbitration are effective means to resolve disputes short of litigation. Most HOA governing documents provide for mediation or arbitration, and the law strongly encourages this. But even if yours does not, you can request that mediation be attempted prior to going to court. Litigation, however, sometimes is the only way to resolve genuine disputes. Unfortunately, people sometimes cannot agree and issues need to go through the courts for resolution. As a board member, you should know the risks and rewards before making this decision, and it is wise to discuss unsolvable disputes with your association attorney. Under the law, the prevailing party may likely be entitled to attorney's fees, but lengthy and costly litigation can have a devastating effect on the budget and morale in an HOA. An HOA board member makes decisions that affect all of the homeowners in the community. Being on the board means that you have the responsibility to make wise and fair decisions for the whole membership of the association. If a decision is made properly and within the power granted to the board, the homeowners have to live with that decision. In making decisions for the association, a board member should be fair and impartial and not be influenced politically or by personal bias. Finally, play nice and communicate. Boards in particular should make it a point to play nice and be helpful in HOA matters. Many of the complaints filed with the HOA Information and Resource Center are issues that could be resolved if board members and homeowners removed the emotion from their dealings and were more transparent. It is important when engaging with a homeowner that a board member should always be understanding, respectful, professional, and sympathetic to the issues brought before it. What is Alternative Dispute Resolution? Alternative Dispute Resolution, commonly referred to as ADR, typically covers a wide range of dispute resolution processes and techniques that act as a means for disagreeing parties to come to an agreement short of litigation. In essence, it is a term for the ways that parties can settle disputes with the help of a third party. Common methods used are mediation and arbitration. The Kiowa Law addresses the need for alternative dispute resolution methods to handle HOA disputes. The Colorado Legislature found that the cost, complexity, and delay inherent in court proceedings make litigation a particularly inefficient means of resolving neighborhood disputes. The statute requires an HOA to establish a written ADR policy for the association, setting forth its procedure for addressing disputes arising between the association and homeowners. Associations are encouraged to adopt protocols that make use of mediation or arbitration as alternatives to or preconditions upon the filing of a complaint between a unit owner and association in situations that do not involve an imminent threat to the peace, health, or safety of the community. The legislature specifically endorses and encourages associations and all parties to those disputes to take advantage of available public and private resources for ADR. What is mediation? Mediation is a dispute resolution process between the parties to resolve a dispute or problem using the help of a trained, experienced, and neutral third party. Some aspects of mediation include that it is a confidential process. It's also informal with very few rules and legal technicalities. It can take place at any time. It allows for important and meaningful relationships to be preserved or repaired. It helps manage conflict. It allows for all opinions and issues to be heard. It is less stressful and usually less costly and more cost effective than going to court. What is arbitration and how does it work? Arbitration is a private method of resolving disputes outside of court. Parties refer their disputes to an arbitrator who reviews the evidence, listens to the parties, and then makes a decision. Arbitration clauses can be mandatory or voluntary. 
and the arbitrator's decision may be binding or non-binding. It is different from mediation because the neutral arbitrator has the authority to make a decision about the dispute. Arbitration is used in place of litigation, going to court, in the hope of settling a dispute without the cost and time of a court case versus litigation, which is a court-based process that involves a decision that is binding on both parties and a process of appealing the decision through the judicial system. Arbitration has no appeals if the decision is binding. There is no formal appeals process available, even if one party feels the outcome was unfair, unjust, or biased. This has been an educational presentation from the HOA Information and Resource Center. Following this presentation, you will find a short quiz and some HOA resources. Thank you for watching.